okay, let's look at phonics and how this could connect to your essay. Uh, and we're going to think about phonics. We already spent a lot of time on this involving letter sound correspondence. But I want to emphasize, you know, with letter sound correspondence on the oral fluency essay, right? A lot of times you'll see mistakes in phonics. So uh, you want to be able to look at a word like a single syllable word and spot what are the phonics elements or the syllable patterns going on in that word um, that may be uh, impacting the student. And here we can just look at this here and we can see that this these words here, there's some, uh, we got some vowel diagraph, uh, constant diagraphs going on, right? We have a vowel diagraph going on. We have some blends going on. Uh, these are all, uh, we, these are all uh, have those elements to it. Uh, and these are, these all have, you know, like a, some combination of phonics. So you can spot other things too, but these are the, these are the things going on in these words. Now, if we saw students struggle with these words in their oral reading, like instead of saying uh, brick, they say uh, bick. Or instead of saying sheep, they say uh, sep. Let's say the student made those two miscues. Well, if they say bick instead of brick, then they're having difficulty with constant clusters, an initial constant cluster. Or they say sep instead of sheep, then they're having difficulty with an initial constant diagraph and a vowel diagraph, right? So we want to be able to be familiar with phonics elements so that we can point out when the student is having difficulty with them on their oral fluency essay, right? And, and what you're looking at here, this picture, here we have some type of word grid, right? And uh, in a word grid or something like this, uh, the teacher is uh, breaking apart, you know, the word into decodable parts where they have like blends and the vowel and the diagraphs, you know, so that a student could word use like a word grid, chunk the word, the single syllable word into a word grid or something like this. Use, they could use Elkonin boxes or, or different activities, but chunking it up into these parts where they, where they break it apart and then blend it together. Okay, some type of activity like this, or like say it and move it, where they get to practice their phonics, especially if they're dropping sounds in the word. We'd want to use a word grid or Elkonin boxes or say it and move it to help them match up sounds with their letter sound correspondence patterns to correctly, you know, decode and pronounce all the sounds in a word correctly, right? So this could be an activity uh, for phonics instruction if you saw that as a weakness, okay? All right, um, I'm not gonna do questions more than this. I just want you to think about phonics instruction and, and always think about that as a skill. Is the student uh, using phonics to help them decode words or not? We'll always have to ask that. Are they are they able to use phonics to identify words or is there a gap in phonics that's holding them back that's impacting their word, oral reading fluency, okay? All right, let's go to the next idea here. Let's go to uh, uh, scenarios involving structural word analysis, okay? Let's take a look.